Today we're going to look at the uh, Yokogawa LPS system on our pressure transmitters. What you'll need for this is a flat head screwdriver. And what we're going to be using for our presentation today is an S-Series EJAE uh, 530 and uh, we're going to go through and show you how to use the LPS. Now the LPS allows you to make changes to the transmitter without actually having a handheld communicator or field mate. Uh, as you can see, the uh, transmitter is powered up. We want to take the top off of it, the cover here. We want to make sure that you do not do this in a hazardous location. Make sure you're in a uh, nice, safe location. And we're going to use the button located here on the uh, indicator, and we're going to use this digital encoder uh, located on the side. So let's go ahead and open up the digital encoder. It is covered with a, a stainless steel a stainless steel cover it just and it opens up like that and when we're looking at the uh, screen it'll go through the different things that it can do it can change nine parameters and then give you some information uh, about the transmitter so we'll start the system just by pushing the button and it will tell you tag number first then it will go through and tell you what the tag is in this particular case, there is no tag number loaded into this particular transmitter. So it just flashes tag and then blank. But it would uh, display your tag number there uh, if you needed it. Press it again and it comes to a unit of measure. In this case, it's set to PSI. So it tells you the unit and the PSI. And it will continue to alternate uh, between uh, the item you're on and how it is set so that you'll have an understanding of what it is. Hit the next one and you're looking at your uh, low range value, which is what your four milliamp is set on. It's on this one set to zero. Your upper range limit, which is what your 25, uh, your 20 milliamp is set to, and it's set for uh, 25 PSI. Go to the next one and you're looking at your damping, which is how you're quickly the uh, transmitter uh, transmits the pressure that it's reading. Uh, you've got uh, how it is uh, transmitted out, whether it's linear or square root. In this particular case, you can see on the screen that it is set to linear. Uh, you hit another one, hit it again, and it will tell you what your display is set on. And this time it's set to sh display your engineering pressure. So it's uh, made to set your, show your PSI units. Uh, your next one is, uh, the next two actually require pressure to be set to the transmitter. Uh, they're there, you can uh, put a pressure source to the transmitter and uh, actually uh, supply the pressure to set the uh, low range value and the upper range value. In this case, we're not going to be doing anything with it. Uh, and then next is the info status. It'll tell you the information about the transmitter. It's an EJA530 in this case. It's set up to read HART5. It's the device REV1 and it's software REV 3.01. So it gives you some information about the uh, transmitter. You hit it again and it returns back to regular uh, mode there. So let's go through and change one of them real quick. So we've already opened the little door on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and go to what we wanna change, which is gonna be our unit of measure. Right now it is set on PSI and we will go and just put the screwdriver here and we will turn it. And as it's turning, there it goes to atmosphere, pascals, millimeters of water, uh, millimeters of mercury, uh, tor, uh, kPa, mPa, millibar. Let's leave it at bar. So once you leave it at bar, you hit the button again, and it asks you if you want to save that information. You hit it again, tells you that it is saved. And then you hit it again and it goes back into the sequence of going through the nine items and the info again. But now your transmitter is set uh, to the new uh, information. So it's an easy process to do. It's powerful. It can't do everything a handheld can do, uh, but it can do a lot. 